AF Forza is the most advanced family of DSP amplifiers available today. Please take a moment to watch this short video. It'll help you use these amplifiers successfully and efficiently. Using AF Forza for the first time. Where's the manual? Full product and software manuals are available at audison.com on the individual product pages or under support. We also have video tutorials on the Audison official YouTube channel. What do I do first? Your Audison amplifier probably needs the firmware updated first. Download the latest software and firmware from the Audison software download page. The BitDrive software is completely new and it's compatible only with AF Forza amplifiers at this time. It's not backwards compatible. The install utility for the firmware now downloads with the firmware. Firmware is not installed using the BitDrive software. Download the latest firmware from the Audison software download page. There is a seven minute video tutorial on this process on the Audison official YouTube channel. Don't worry about the upgrade switch. In most cases, the upgrade switch isn't needed to install new firmware. This can really be thought of as a rescue switch instead. Where's the setup CD? There is no setup CD in the box. Download the test tracks onto a USB drive or burn a CD in the rare instance that that's all the vehicle has available. Don't use the test tracks for another Audison bid device. Use the proper tracks for AF Forza from the website. What does the configuration wizard do? A great question. The wizard configures the inputs. First, you can select the inputs for higher low level sources, and these can be edited afterwards. The wizard does safely set the input levels, or you can set them manually. The wizard tests input polarities, critical with OEM integration, and it aligns all channels in time using our D time process. You can skip this if you're using an aftermarket source. The wizard also de-equalizes each individual channel. These settings can be edited later, and you can also skip this if you're using an aftermarket source. The wizard lets you set up the amplifier outputs, automatically setting the signal routing and the basic crossover filters. If you select an Audison speaker model, our suggested crossover point for that speaker model is automatically inserted. The wizard also lets you set the various speaker distances so that the software can calculate the delays needed. If you want to enter these distances later or set delay by hand, you can do that too. Volatile data is a permanent record of the setting shown above. The wizard gives you the opportunity to change any of these values, such as default input, as appropriate for your installation. And you can edit everything the wizard does. Once the process is complete, you can go back and edit any setting you like without having to start over. What is volatile data again? Volatile data is a permanent record of these settings you can see on the screen. If you change any of these settings, such as default input or default volume level, make sure to update the volatile data values under settings so they can be retained in case of a loss of power. Do I have to use the configuration wizard? No, everything can be done manually. It's just faster with the wizard. What gauge power wire can I use? The AFM max amplifiers can accept up to four gauge power and ground. The AFC compact amplifiers can accept up to six gauge power and ground. What model DRC can I use? Use the new DRC AC. Previous DRC models are not compatible. Some preliminary documents refer to a DRCC, but the proper term is DRC AC. Update the DRC AC firmware before use. Like the AF Forza firmware, the installer utility for the DRC firmware downloads with the firmware, and the BitDrive software isn't used to install it either. Which external amps can I use? There are AF companion amplifiers. The AFM4D and AFM6D are now available. The AFM1D isn't yet available, but the AFM4D can deliver 520 watts by two bridged into two four ohm subwoofer voice coils. 
If you are using an AF companion amplifier, the optional AF link cable can be used for a direct connection. But you can also use any amplifier you like with preamp inputs. For example, you could use either the APF1D or the SR1.500 as external subwoofer amps. The DSP output harness in the initial AF Forza amplifier kits has unterminated wires, but these are not for speaker level inputs. Connect them to RCA inputs. The DSP output channels are marked 1 through 6. These numbers do not correspond to the output channel numbers in the BitDrive software. These vary with the amplifier that you're working with. Can I use preamp level inputs and speaker level inputs at the same time? You can use both types of inputs at the same time, but you cannot use both types of input for the same channel at the same time. Each input channel should only be connected to one or the other type of signal. What kind of OEM processing can I correct? We will automatically flatten out OEM equalization with DEQ. We will correct for OEM delay with D time. We will detect any polarity errors with polarity check. And you can use the simple D phase manual process to detect and correct for any phase cancellations built into the OEM processing. We also have video tutorials on using these processes on the Audison official YouTube channel, and we also have technical documents walking you through these processes. Can I use Maestro AR? Not yet. The Maestro AR is not yet compatible with the Maestro port. Watch for an announcement on this soon. Maestro AR installations will usually require the ACC RCA1 extension harness from my data link, as well as the AF Forza input adapter. What if I need more than eight analog inputs? You can add four more analog speaker level inputs with the optional F4IN card. That's a total of 12. These four additional channels have 32 volts of input capability, which is perfect for premium amplified vehicles with high voltage woofer output channels. Each channel also has its own 12 band input equalizer section with phase and time correction. Can I bridge AF Forza? How? Of course you can. Use the left positive and right negative speaker wires. Here's how bridge wiring it works. Remember that bridge channels have a 4 ohm input impedance and you have to set bridging in the software as well. I just need a bit more output. What can I do? If you hold the control button, you can make up to 6 dB of additional volume available as needed. If you do use that to go above zero, update your volatile data settings accordingly. Thanks for watching.